this is the news hour and i am a kofa a minute and let's settle for the details ghana has dropped 30 places on the 2022 world press freedom index the 2022 index put together by campaign group and reporters without borders saw ghana ranking 60 after placing 30 in 2021 this is ghana's lowest ranking in 17 years after it ranked 66th and 67th in 20, 2005 and 2002 respectively the latest report is out of 180 countries assessed with Ghana recording a decline in eight indicative points from 78.67% to 67.43% compared to that of last year. It said although the country is considered a regional leader in democratic stability, journalists have experienced growing pressures in recent years. According to reporters without borders, the safety of Ghanaian journalists has deteriorated sharply in recent years. For example, the campaigners said in 2020, reporters covering the effectiveness of anti-COVID-19 measures were attacked by security forces. That is not the only ground. Guinean political leaders are said to be making death threats against investigative journalists. The index is a snapshot of the situation in the 180 countries and territories during the calendar, January to December, prior to its publication. Nonetheless, it is meant to be seen as an accurate reflection of the situation at the time of publication. Recently, the U.S. Department of State also released its 2021 annual country report on human rights practices, which report on key human rights issues in various countries across the world, including Ghana. The report cited Ghana for a number of human rights abuses, including clamping down on free speech. Some specific cases mentioned in the report included the killing of social activist Kaka in the Jura and the arrest and abuse of City FM, City TV, Kaleg Huda, the death of investigator of the Tiger IPI team in the number 12 expose on corruption in Ghana football, Ahmed Swale has not yet been closed after he was shot dead by some unknown assailants in January 2019 in Medina in Accra. Before this, in July 2018, the national security personnel in another notable incident arrested and tortured two journalists after the publication of an article that criticized the national security minister Albert Kandapa over the course of the Akufuado administration. It has been criticized on these points as well as the closure of some prominent pro-opposition radio stations. The government's response so far to this incident has been largely condemned, with many suggesting that it gives the impression that the state is either complicit or tacitly supports such actions against journalists.